Hi, I'm Nancy Guppy, host of Art Zone, and welcome to another installment of Open Studio, where five local performers get three minutes each to do their thing, and what a lineup we have for you. Uncle Bonsai, Macklemore, Jimmy Holden and John Goforth, Linda Waterfall, and Benga Akanabe. Yeah. Ready, crew? Yeah! Well, let's get to our first performer. Hi, I'm Linda Waterfall, and uh, I'm here to perform tonight with my friends Rachel Jacobson Larson and Kat Cook. And we're going to sing Welcome to the Dark, which is the title track off of my most recent CD, Welcome to the Dark. We smile outside the window and we laugh behind the door. We're dancing all around you in the night. Who dares to trust may come with us and may the spark survive. The one who craves the spirit keeps the spirit alive. Years of eight to music make a rosy close the day. Welcome to the dark we say arise awake away. Sing and be silly, laugh and be loud, blow out the light and the stars come out. Arise and find your way. Who hesitates and stares and waits and treads their hungry maze in hopes to gain their leave to remain a slave? A dreadful fate that you've escaped by wandering here today. We broke the spell that held and made you lose your way. Years of eight to music make a rosy close the day. Welcome to the dark, we say, arise, awake, away. Sing and be silly, laugh and be loud, blow out the light and the stars come out. Arise and find your way. Day after day, the same thing, it bores you to nice and withers your mind. Day after day, the same, all getting and spending, unwind your ribbon of time. So spare your words and still prefer to listen to the wind and tune your pulse of light beneath the sky. You'll learn your craft with sternest task and balance it with laughter, laziness and freedom and the wonder of life. Years of eight to music make a rosy close the day. Welcome to the dark, we say, arise, awake, away. Sing and be silly, laugh and be loud, blow out the light and the stars go away. Arise and find your, rise and find your, rise and find your way. Wonderful, Linda. And Kat and Rachel, really nice. You have such a sparkle in your eye. Oh, you well, really do have a wonderful light that comes off as you perform. Well, it's the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> it's always about the lighting. Um, so you, you really broke out in the 1970s, yeah? Yes. And, and first record was on... Wyndham Hill. Wyndham Hill, big, big, huge label. And then your most current record, 2009, came out. It's called Welcome to the Dark. That was the title track, yes? That's right, it was. And by the way, this is available CD Baby and at Linda's website. All of that, of course, you can link to from ours. Um, so you, you do a lot of different things besides perform. You've been doing that for over 30 years. Um, yes. But you also teach? Yes, I teach uh, songwriting at Cornish, and I also occasionally get a grant or commission to write some choral music. And I feel like there's a little choral quality in, in this song here, a classical quality a little bit, medieval yeah. or something. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's, it's, it's that pagan goddess thing. That's that pagan goddess deal, you got that down. Um, well, you'll have a chance to see uh, Linda do all of her, all of her uh, beautiful singing and, song, um, and original songs at uh, Folklife, 2010 Folklife. It is coming up, I believe, is that Memorial Day weekend? or it maybe? Is. Okay, and uh, the date that you want to put on your calendar is May 30th, that is Sunday, 1.30. 30 p.m. at McCaw Hall. At McCaw Hall, right? At McCaw Hall. <laughs> and so you want to definitely check that out. Um, well, thank you so much for, for being here, you guys. Really, really brought a lot to the, to the show. And stay tuned for more great art coming your way. How many songs have you written, do you think? Come on over here, honey. Hey, 
like, oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> my name is Jimmy Holden, and uh, this is my brother, John Goforth, and saxophone. Yeah. And uh, this is Jimmy Holden, and I'm John Goforth. And we're going to play a blues song that we wrote for Greg Thompson called Blues for GT. Hey. We've there you go. We're right up with it pretty quick, so hang on. Yeah. Stay with us. Yeah. Improvised tune. And you just, you just, you're just flying across those yeah. keys. You're just flying across those keys. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Really, really great. You've been playing for what? How long? How, well, what time is it? No, <laughs> thirty years. Thirty-ish years. Yeah. 30 yeah. Years, and and you met. Well, who was the mutual friend that introduced oh, you? Oh, Richard Dangel. Richard, Richard Dangel, and he was a guitarist for the Whalers. For the Whalers. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they had the big hit, Louie Louie. Oh yeah, yeah very big hit. And so, how did you, how did you come together then? I mean, how did you, how did he introduce you? There was a band that, that played at the Scarlet Tree called The Reputations. Uh -huh. It had a bunch of really good people in it. Tim yeah. Scott, Danny Goodhue, marvelous saxophone player. Yeah. And that's, I, I used to sub for Danny. Is that and right? And that's how I met yeah. Jimmy. Yeah, yeah met that's you. how we met. Yeah. 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 Well, well, it's a match made in heaven in a lot of ways. You're both, you're both very funny. They've been very funny off camera, I might say, <laughs> and in fantastic uh, in performers. You have a chance to, to hear these guys. They play in a lot of different configurations around town, and we're going to first push uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Holden Band, the Jimmy Holden Band, and that is every Tuesday night yes, at uh, Highway 99 Blues Club, right down kind of by the aquarium off the, yeah, on across, the waterfront. across from the aquarium on, from the, the, on the waterfront. On yeah. the waterfront there. Yeah. And uh, so it's every Tuesday, and you're with him there. And then also you uh, at Tula's, there's two big bands. What's it called? The, uh... Well, Jay, Jay Thomas's Thomas big, big bands, bands okay? One's called uh, The Stimulus Package, and that's... <laughs> that's uh, first, is that the first Tuesday? No, that one's actually the third Sunday. <laughs> okay, so there's the first Tuesday... Uh, and then the third Sunday, both big bands, and John is in both of those yes. at Tula's in Belltown. So, yes. yeah. Thank you. Uh, and information about all of their performance extravaganzas are on, is on our website. Thank you so much Thank for being you here. Very it's just much really great to have you. you. Stay tuned, more stuff coming up. Now, we're all from, from the area. Yeah. Okay, I went to Queen Anne. Lakeside. Garfield High School. Yes! yes. We're all locals. That's right. Oh. Woohoo! Cool. <laughs> Hi, we're. we're Uncle, Uncle Bonsai, bonsai. And, and we're, we're going, going to, to sing, sing 
the baby's head because it's less than three minutes long. The baby's head is a hexagon. The baby's head is a hexagon. Nobody in here did anything wrong, but the baby's head is a hexagon. The baby's head is a hexagon. The baby's head is a hexagon. He's got all of his fingers, his toes are all on, but the baby's head is a hexagon. Everything else is just Everything else is just Everything else is just The baby's head is a hexagon. 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 There's so many places to rest things upon, cause the baby's head is a hexagon. And now it's hard to gauge concern. There's so much inner rage to burn. It's such an still be a square the baby's head is a hexagon the baby's head is a hexagon it's almost like something picasso had drawn i guess you could say that his features are strong hey one of those facets is already gone now the baby's head is a pentagon oh hallelujah Magical. Life was so tragical. Now we can start it up all over again. So raise up a flag and fall for the hexagonal. We don't have to hang out with losers like them. The baby's head is a pentagon. The baby's head is a pentagon. Those six sided children will never be long, and our baby's head is a pentagon. Baby's head is a pentagon. Our baby's head is a pentagon. It's the chart topper. <laughs> it is the chart topper. That's, right. That's a great song. Yeah, there are charts for that. Um, there are charts for that. And um, what was that last line about the um, the six sided? Those six-sided children will never belong. Our baby's head is a pentagon. <laughs> and that's the good, that's that's a good the, kind that's of the tag. That's of the, the right yeah. kind of that's tag. What, that's what the song is really yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, but belonging. Yes. Um, so Uncle Bonsai, uh, a great group. You guys have been around, started in 81, yes. right? And then disbanded officially in 89. in 89. Got back together in 98 or so. Or and so. you've been going on strong since then, yeah? Strong, yes. Strong, OK. <laughs> uh, give or take. I'll define your terms. Give or sure. take. What, 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 what kind of keeps you, what keeps you going? I mean, this is over 30, almost over 30 years. Almost 30 years. Oh, no. I just, no other sorry. opportunities? No, I just feel incredibly old. Nothing else to do? <laughs> we don't know anything else. It didn't well, prepare us English well. degrees. <laughs> it's just fun and cool and creative. and Yes. Yeah. Sure. Yes, so you'll go with that. We'll Let's go with fun, cool, creative, creative, not sad, depressing, and all that. Yeah. No. No. New no. ideas keep happening. What's that? New ideas keep yeah, happening. Yeah. New ways ideas. to say old ideas. Right. Well, hey, that's, that's fine. Everyone just has a couple ideas they keep recycling. That's us. Okay, you can hear the recycled <laughs> ideas of Uncle Bonsai coming up on, let's see here, the big date is May 8th, that's Saturday at the Triple Door, and it's the big stage, right? Not the small stage, the big, right. huge stage. So you want to capture that. Also, in October, the third Tuesday, October 19th, the brand new CD is out. The Grim Parade of Cat and Mouse, and that will be available all over the place, online and in stores. Hey, stay tuned, more art coming your way. Really nice to have you Thanks on the show. Us, you're, you're so Thanks controlled. You're, you're so, so, he's such a calm man, yeah. he isn't is. he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is Benga Akinabe. I'm in Seattle to do a play called The Thin Place at the Intamon Theater. You're gonna hear the first monologue from the play in which I interact with a whole lot of different characters. Here I go. I grew up in church. My dad was a pastor and associate pastor in California. 
we grew up Pentecostal, you know, like speaking in tongues. My mom and my sister and me, we were there, we were present, and he tried not to cause too much trouble. One Sunday, when I was 12, there was this prophet guy, he was a guest of the church, and he laid his hands on my head, and he said every ministry gift, like communication, insight, and wisdom. And in true Pentecostal fashion, I fell back. I can't explain it, but I fell back and lay there a second. My mom, she has this beautiful voice. When she sings, you can hear God, you can hear his voice. And just like today, she was on stage singing this beautiful song. When out of nowhere, she passed out. She just laid there. They came and took her away in an ambulance. You know, what's funny is that when she fell back, at first I was reminded of when I was 12 and slain in the spirit. And I got happy because I thought God was healing her but it turns out it isn't anything Pentecostal. She's sick and she can't stop bleeding. All I wanna do is pray and make my mom okay. If I could, I would believe that God could heal us like he did when I was 12, but I don't think that could happen. I mean, <clears throat> it couldn't happen because I don't, I don't believe it could happen anymore. I grew up in church, but church doesn't feel like home anymore. That's really nice. That is really great. An excerpt from The Thin Place. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And, um, and rehearsals are just happening right now. Yeah. are just kind yeah. of getting into it. We've been workshopping in that. I believe today is the first official rehearsal. Official rehearsal. Yes. Well, you're doing very well for the first <laughs> official rehearsal. Thank you. My director works the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's yeah. really good. Now, you might recognize Benga from a lot of TV and film. He was in The Wire, a uh, great part in The Wire and in The Savages with Laura Linney. Uh, and uh, who was the other guy? Oh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of great roles. And now you're in Seattle doing a one-man show yes. at Intamon. What drew you to, to this role? Um... Uh, I've never done anything like this before. Mm. Uh, I was asked by a good friend of mine, the director, mm -hmm. Andrew Russell, and it's, it was an opportunity to just basically challenge myself. And that's, that's rare as an artist. Yeah. When you have an opportunity to challenge yourself, I kind of I like feel you, you have to, to yeah, you're compelled to do it. And you're scared? Yes, yes, very, very much so. <laughs> that's actually, that kind of keeps you on your toes, man. It does, you know? it does. It keeps me, it keeps me awake, you yeah, know, because yeah. in this business, you can, um, especially in, uh, in television, you can, can you can get kind of dull, mm -hmm. you know. Because there's no audience in front of you. No, and there's also, there's a lot of routine, you yeah, know, uh -huh. it, there's so much of it is about the production yeah. and not as much about the, the craft, you know, so this is good, this helps, you know, clear the cobwebs. You step on stage and you, you go Ooh, the yes. whole way through. Twelve characters, yes. and they're all based on real people, based yes. on a, 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 a bunch of who, interviews. Who live here. here locally. Yes. You're right, right. I think the interviews are done by Marcy Silman. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, you have a chance to see The Thin Place. This runs at Intamon, and the dates are May 14th through June 13th. You definitely want to see this fabulous actor. We're so lucky for us to have him in town uh, performing on stage, and ticket information is on our website. Uh, and stay tuned for more good art coming your way. Thank you so much. Thanks we are me. lucky to have you Come here. Come check us out or check me out <laughs> playing us. <laughs> well, we're going to want to check you out for sure. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, what a delight. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? Hi, my name is Mac Lamore, and today I'm going to be playing a song called Other Side, a song that deals with the issue of drug addiction. Rolled up, asked him what he was sipping on. Said lean, you wanna hit a dog? That's the same stuff Wheezy sipping, huh? And tons of other rappers that be spitting hard. Yep, yeah, yeah, five of bond. Then when it passed in that styrofoam, the Easter pink heard around before. Finally got to see what all the hype was on. And then he took a sip, sitting in the Lincoln, thinking he was pimping as he listened to the system. Little did he know that it was just as addictive as bass. Not the kind of hit from the kick drum. Hot box, let the bass bump. Take it to the bass, gulp. Months later, the use 
blowing up the every blunt was accompanied by the pink stuff man you love that feeling from a raincoat in the throat just so healing medicine alleviate the sickness the liquid to fix him it comes with the cost wake up cold sweat scratching itching trying to escape the skin that barely fit him gone get another bottle just to get a couple swallows and it towards the bottom couldn't get off it didn't even think he had a problem though we couldn't sleep without getting nauseous room spinning thinking he might have sipped just a little bit too much of that cough so his eyelids closed shut sat back in the chair collection that cup girlfriend came and a couple hours later said his name shook him but he never got up He just wanted to act like them, just wanted to rap like him. Us as rappers underestimate the power and the effects that we have on these kids. Blunt pass, ash in the tin, pack being pushed, harassed by the feds. Back to it is, most people that rap like this, talking about some stuff they haven't lived. Surprise, you know the drill, trapped in a box, decline record sales. Follow the formula, violence, drugs, and sex sells. So we try to sound like someone else. This is not Californication, no way to glorify this pavement. Syrup, Percocet, and the eighth the day will leave you broke, depressed, and emotionally vacant, despite how little Wayne lives. It's not conducive to being creative. And I know cause he's my favorite. I know cause I was off that same mix. Rationalize whatever I try. After I listen to dedication. But he's an alien. I said that stuff pass out or play PlayStation. Months later, I'm in the same place. No music made, feeling like a failure. And trust me, it's not dope to be 25 or move back to your parents' basement. I see my people's dreams die. I seen what they can be denied. And we's on a drug that's denial. Brown hog day life repeat each time. Seen Oxycontin take four lives. I grew up with the movies of chief dimes. Seen cocaine bring out the demons inside. Cheating and lying. Friendship ceases, no peace in the mind. Stealing and take anything to fix the pieces inside. Broken, hopeless, headed nowhere. Only motivation from what the dealer's supplying. That rush, that drug, that dope. Those pills, that crumb, that roach. Thinking I will never do that. Not that drug. Growing up, nobody ever does until you're stuck looking in the mirror like I can't believe what I've become so I was gonna be someone growing up everyone always does we sell our dreams and our potential to escape through that buzz just keep me up keep me up Hollywood here we come yeah beautiful thank you it's orchestral it's an it hip-hop orchestral Violin, trumpet, I'm not used to that. That's what we're going for. Is that right? Yes. Just kind of blow it open. Exactly. So that, that song is called uh, Other Side. Other Side, yes. It's obviously about the diff, the dark side of the world of what? Drugs? Drug addiction, yeah. 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 And Drug so what, and what are you kind of saying here? Well, I wanted to uh, kind of give a different perspective mm -hmm. to a genre that oftentimes is glorifies drug yeah. use right, and right. give my own personal story and tell the story of someone else. Yeah. And, give a different spin on and it. And when it's personal, it's very powerful. Yes. Let's introduce the band. And by the way, everyone on this stage here is local, kind of locally yeah. born and raised. So, so let's start over here with uh, Mr. Handsome. Mr. Handsome. <laughs> Mr. Handsome, all the way from Spokane, Washington, <laughs> in yeah. a brand new champion sweatshirt, Yes, actually. $5 at, at Ross. Yeah. And his name is Ryan Lewis. Okay. He's the producer yeah, and, we and got also the DJ. And the DJ. And we got Mr. Beautiful. Mr. Beautiful. On the trumpet. Or Arunga on the trumpet. Yeah. And Mr. Beautiful number two. Mr. Beautiful number two, also hair from heaven. Yeah. Andrew Jocelyn on the violin. On the violin. And of course, Macklemore here. Yes. Um, now, uh, there, there's a lot going on in your career. Um, you, you're working on a brand new video for this particular song. Yes, we yeah. just filmed it this weekend. Okay, and that's coming out soon, and we'll let you know about that. And also, Macklemore is going to be uh, touring kind of West Coast, Midwest, maybe East Coast, too, kind of all over the place, right? Yes. And we'll be bringing you all that information as soon as you tell us the Seattle dates. So you got to get so, on that. So Soon, soon, soon. Okay, soon, 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 soon. Well, um, you guys, that's a wrap for Open Studio. You, you brought it all home for us. Thank it was you, Nancy. absolutely beautiful and wonderful to have you on the show. Appreciate it. Um, now, you can watch uh, repeats of this show on regular TV. Uh, you can sign up for our podcasting. And of course, you can always watch us online any old time. Just go to our website, which is seattlechannel.org. Stop it. Org. 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 Org.
Wouldn't that be a backward slash to them if you held your hand that way? No, that yeah, would well, be. It's so you could See? do that. It's like mirror stuff. Oh wait, wait. See, you're just no. wrong again. Uphill. No, because Uphill it's, they reverse it. Now, one more thing before we go, I want to I encourage you to check out um, the uh, grand reopening of Washington Hall. Washington Hall is located in the Central District on 14th and Yesler, and this beautiful 100-plus-year-old building has been saved, yay, by Historic Seattle and Four Culture, and it's celebrating a big relaunch as a performance space and community center with an open to the public party on a fr uh, Saturday, Sunday, May 1st and 2nd. It's a free event for two days, so drop by any old time for a rockin' lineup of music, theater, and, of course, dance. And that is it. We'll be back real soon with another round of delicious and nutritious art. We'll see you then. How do you remember those words?